Hello everyone, Johnny here. Today in this session, we will try to learn about how to display text when checkbox is checked. The question is to display a text when the checkbox is checked. So let me write the basic syntax for the form. In this form, I will try to take a checkbox. In this, I want to take an input field. So let me take a name in the input field as um, choose choose okay and let me write input type equal to input type equal to checkbox input type equal to checkbox if you can see this output we will get something like this we get something like this but if I want to make sure the input field is checked by default then we have some attribute called chedd checked it means by default the input field will be checked so but our question is when the user clicks on this checkbox it should be able to display some text here in order to display the text we will write some properties of CSS along with JavaScript so first let me write some example like I have some text here see here I have some text here I have some text here and hello Hello, Johnny Tutorials. We have some text, a paragraph. Once I'm trying to refresh this, you can see Hello, Johnny Tutorials. In CSS, we have a property called display. Display none and display block. It will, I'm trying to use the embedded CSS here in order to use in the same page. You should, you can use external CSS also. I'm tr just trying to take the text here. I'm trying to write display none so whenever i'm trying to write a display none here the text is automatically hidden in the sense the text is not visible but here our question is when the user clicks on it it should be able to display and when the user uh, like if the if it is checked it should be able to display some text so for this i'm trying to write the code now we have an input field checkbox so in this let me write some function here so in order to write a function so let me write here itself i am trying to take some event name on click and the function name is check me function name is check me so let me define some id for this as we are using js i am trying to define some id here like abc so we won't get any output now now in this let me define the function function name is check me in this function, let me read the first input field where I want to read the check checkbox first. So I just want to write where cv equals to document dot get element by id abc ABC. It means we are trying to read this element. We are trying to read this element. When the function is, we are we will try to call the function based upon this checkbox clicked. When the user selects this checkbox, automatically this function will call and it will try to read this ID. Now in this, I am trying to write some text. I am trying to write some text here. P of ID equals to. Let me write some text here. Like I want to write some message hello hello Johnny hello Johnny so for this I am trying to read this element in order to read this element again I am trying to write variable text equals to document dot get element by id so where it will try to read the element of message so in this text we have something called a message in the first input field it will try to read a checkbox in the next input field it will try to check uh, it will try to read the paragraph now the logic will be like if i want to compare two numbers like uh, if it is greater than a mm, you have two values like x and y if i want to compare we use if condition in the same way sorry if else condition in the same way i'm trying to write if if 
cb dot cb in the sense if cb is checked if it is true if it is true if the value is true then display it so as we have seen the property of css display equals to block it means it will try to display the text so let me enclose this in the invert code words else if it is not checked if it is not checked i want to take the same text and make it as none so if you can see here so there is no such thing like it is working here so we have taken something like input text box equal to text yes so if you can see here when we have done a small mistakes if you can see uh, in the line number 25 and 27 we have a small mistake like in order to use css for the js we will write style dot so then the style will be applicable so okay uh, one more mistake is there like see now we got it so when i am trying to refresh this but see here first initially it is able to load we have some more mistake like initially it is showing some text so what i am trying to write i am trying to use something called uh, let me write here uh, internal css i am trying, just trying to write style equals to we should use extra uh, it would be a better preferred way uh, display none so initially it will not be visible if you can see here the text is automatically visible now if the user is able to click on this it will try to display or else the text will not be displayed so if i want to have something like uh, more background color and uh, all these things we can write here background color like uh, some gray then automatically it will try to see we got it so this is how we have done with the basic system in order to display a text when the checkbox is checked in a sense when the checkbox value is true it will try to display this property it means it will try to display this block or else it will be none if you have any queries in the session also you can just comment below this video in the description part you will find the complete javascript session tutorials of, for the beginners as well as the projects thank you